fastest way to build your credit score. Now, before I dive into that, I would throw out a disclaimer. This is probably not for the person who already has some established credit. However, a lot of people don't have established credit or they want to reestablish credit. So the thing that they want to focus on more so is building credit outside of, of course, making sure the other stuff on your credit report is restored. So the fastest way to build credit. What up? You got Mr. Smith, 0.5 or Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And as you know or not know, I own a credit restoration company where I help people restore their credit so they can qualify for the things that they want to qualify for, which is the home or many other people want to qualify for other things. But if you qualify for a home, then what you want to do is buy the home right the first time around. A lot of people, majority of people, over 90% of people buy their first home wrong. But it's the right way to do it that's not talked about because it doesn't grease as many palms or put as much money in the people's pockets who's feeding you the way that you should buy a home. But if you take the approach that we took, which I didn't even realize was, a, I knew it was a good way to do it. But if you take the approach that we took and we recommend, you'll come out on top. But that's not what this video is about. I just wanted to kind of establish some uh, rapport with you of why you should possibly listen to someone like myself. Now. The first thing you need to do in order to, or the best type of card to boost your credit or build your credit fast is a card that you have control over. And the card that you have the most control over initially is what's known as the credit builder, a credit builder card or a secured card. And I'll link below a, a way that you can access a credit card that allows you to build your credit in the form of a secured card. So what is a secured card and how does it work? Well, basically, if you don't know, a secure card is a card that allows you to secure a credit limit based on the amount that you deposit or amount that you contribute to the card. So, for example, if you want to start building some positive credit and you decide that you want to get a secure card, what that does is establish you some new credit. It also puts you in a position to benefit from credit utilization, which was one of the second Top fact, or it is the second factor as it relates to your credit score, and it affects 30% of your overall credit score. So it puts you in that position right off the bat. But if you put $200 to open up and establish that card, now you automatically have a $200 credit limit. Even though you put up the money, it opens up a card and gives you a $200 credit limit. So how it works is this. It's kind of like a deposit when you when you first get your apartment. It's almost like it's refundable in a sense because you put the money up and then if as long as you don't break things or mess things up, you get your full refund back. It kind of operates like that just a little bit. But let me elaborate. So if you put $200 towards the card and they say, okay, approved, accept it because it's higher chance that you get accepted because you're putting up your own money. You're putting your own skin in the game. So you get approved, you get the card in the mail a couple weeks later and now you have a card that has a $200 limit. Now you can go use that to buy some small things, nothing major, maybe some gas, maybe $10 or whatever the case may be, but you're just using it to establish some type of credit history. But you also still have to be mindful of the utilization. So if you spend $20 on a $200 card that you have the limit for, now that's like you have a 10% of utilization, which isn't bad. I recommend under 10%. So if you spent $19, then you got about a 9% give or take credit utilization. And then a month later or, you know, 20 days later, you pay that off. You'll get a bill or you'll show that you owe a balance. You pay it off in full. So now you're establishing great credit utilization, great credit history, and new credit all at the same swing. And if the car reports appropriately, then it will be reporting for one faster, but you also want one that reports to all three bureaus because you want one action that you're doing to be benefiting all across the board. I would say kill one bird with one stone, but that's so cliche, but you're able to kill all three bureaus with one card. I'll say that. Kill all three bureaus with one card using the proper credit builder card that's reporting at a, at a faster pace, but at the same time, you funded it. And now what it's designed to do is if you pay certain things off and you establish their credit, now you're positioning yourself to actually apply for, uh, I say real credit card, but a credit card that removes some of the limits and trusts you more so as a, as a worthy or ideal borrower. We get credit advertisements all the time because they understand that we know 
or we have a history of paying things back and paying things on time all the time. So they're like trying to make sure we get a car with them. They're giving us all different types of offers in the mail. And different times it's appropriate for us to do it if we want to establish some new credit or if we want to just establish or boost our credit utilization or lower our credit utilization by giving us a higher spread of credit over multiple credit cards. So there's different strategies to it. I won't get into that. But a secure card is a way to build your credit the fastest and you could put more than two hundred dollars in there if you want to put a thousand you can put a thousand you want to put two thousand you can put two thousand depending on the card and the options or you can open more than one card so you might want to do 200 here 500 here and now you're establish, establishing multiple lines of credit using a secure credit model that can open up doors for future things that you can do for your credit. So a secure credit card is the fastest way to start building credit because it covers a lot of bases in terms of the five factors that affect your credit score. I'll go over that briefly. Payment history, credit utilization, credit history, new credit, and credit mix. So with getting a new card, it crosses off or helps you build four we're really all five over time, but you know, it helps you cross off a majority of those credit factors all in one swing. Hopefully it makes sense. Hopefully that helps. If you want a secure credit card that reports to all three bureaus and does it in a way that benefits you, click the available link that we have below so you can get access to it. But if nothing else, get your secure card. Even if you go through your bank or whomever else you choose to go through. If it's not us, no problem. We just wanted to extend this information. That's all I got for now. Mr. Smith, Signing out. Salute.